good YouTube it's your boy Quinn Way 20w20 here coming to you with a quick video I'm gonna try to get some people on this channel I want to try to get some new people on the channel to have some debates with that would be fun to have some debates with some some people to see y'all get some other opinions from some guys and bounce some ideas but the only thing I don't like about it is I gotta make the schedules fit and I, it gotta be perfect timing for like the videos to happen and the video is gonna be longer so let me know you want to see some debates come into the channel but like I said, if I do it, you're going to have to go through a longer video because we got to get both points across and we got to come to an agreement with a debate. So with that being said, we're going to talk about the uh, Portland Trailblazers. This is a team that had a hot start last year, but was mediocre finishing the year before. And you think about it two years ago, this is a team that started off hot and ended up not even making the playoffs. They, they went cold the last game. Last couple of years, this, last year they started off super hot. They went mediocre and still made the playoffs and got out of the first round, but got destroyed by the Spurs. They got obliterated that game, that series. They only won one game, and that game was close. So the Spurs really destroyed them. This team is not a championship contender. They playing way better defense, but I think by the end of the year they're gonna go from a top ten defensive team to like top twelve. I think Indiana gonna get back in there. I think. Dallas gonna get in there with Rick Kyle out and Tyson Chandler. They're gonna figure out more that they've been going up every month. I mean, every week in the defensive efficiency. I think uh, Portland gonna eventually drop out of there. I don't see the team having an elite defense the whole year, especially with other teams like Charlotte, too. Gonna probably catch something, get something together, and become a top 10 defensive team. I just don't see the team being a top 10 defensive team for a whole year. I don't see it defensively. Damian Lillard has improved his defense. He was working on it in the offseason. Now I think about it. He has been working on his defense, but he's still a little too skinny, a little too little. Steph Curry will abuse him in the series. But he's still going to get his points, too. But Steph Curry would destroy Damian Lillard. He would just, just shoot over him like he did Isaiah Thomas. Just shoot right over him. Just knock down a three. He would just destroy him. So you don't want to see. I don't think this team going, like I said, now what to expect. I just don't see this team really. Until they get a better bench. I just don't see the team competing. Like, they're going to play their starters a lot of minutes this year, like they've been doing the last couple of years. Now, I just don't think, like, offensively they're going to be there, but against, like, San Antonio, against Golden State, against OKC, do you really see this team beating them teams? Let's run down the numbers right quick. they seventh in points per game. Uh, like I said, this team relies on a lot of jump shots, a lot of threes. And a lot of isolation, too. They like to get a ball to, like, Lillard to dribble around and shoot a shot. They like to get a ball to LaMarcus Aldridge in, in the high post or in the post and score isolation shots. Let's see what they had in assists. This team's six in assists because they've been getting out on that fast break. They, been, they know their offense a little more. They got more chemistry this year. You know what I'm saying? Especially after watching them. They, they feel like they know each other a lot more. They've been playing with each other for a lot of years. Robin Lopez getting a lot of dump-offs, a lot of mid-range shots. He's getting more involved in the offensive end. The LaMarcus Aldridge is a little more unselfish. He ain't looking for a shot that much. He's kicking it out to the shooter. He knowing where to go. They're getting out on fast break, too. This is another thing about this team. That's why I assist it so high. They're getting them steals. They're getting them deflection. They're getting out on fast break and killing it, even doing step-back threes. They're settling for threes in the fast break, too. They're getting out on that fast break. That's why their assist number is high. And Damian Lillard, he's just been doing his thing right now. He's coming off them screens, not being greedy. He's knocking down he knocking down them shots, but he's also passing it. He's dribbling a little bit, getting to the paint, passing it out a little bit. They knocking it down. Wesley Matthews knocking it down at a high rate. He's a leading he the lead person in threes right now. Cause Steph Curry had a day off, but now Steph Curry probably number one again. And they first in rebounding. This is a stat that I believe that they can hold up for the whole year. Well, Robin Lopez, Chris Kamen. Aldridge who getting 11 rebounds. Nicholas Batum gets some rebounds. Damian Lillard help out every now and then. West Matthews help out every now and then. This is a collective team. And this is why this team can still get out of the first round because this team knows their personnel. They know what to do. They know what to do on rotations. They know where to send you on the defense. They know where the help defense is going to be at. They know where the shooter is going to be at. They know where LaMarcus Aldridge is going to be at when he come off the screen. They just know everything about each other. And that's why their defense been so good this year. They know where to help out. They know where to be at on the floor. Another thing is they rebound is just they just knowing what to do. They just know everything on the floor. He boxing out, he boxing out. Let me help on this side. Let me get on this side. They boxed out, they boxed out here. Let me go get this rebound. They gang rebounding. Then they still getting on them fast break, killing it. And that defense helping helping them too. They letting they, they opponents score less, make more misses. 
the more misses you get, the more ability you got to get a rebound. The more misses, the more rebounds. And they begin a whole lot of offensive rebounds, too, if you watch their games. Robin Lopez be doing work, but LaMarcus Aldridge these last two years been really getting on them boards, and I'm very, very impressed about that. He averaged 11 rebounds last year. LaMarcus Aldridge was never putting on no 11 rebounds, I can tell you that much. But he got on, he committed to them rebounds. And like I said, LaMarcus Aldridge pokes his defense, and his help defense got a whole lot better this year. He knows where to be at on the floor. He knows when to put his hands up and when to go for the block. He knows when to not, he know how to rotate without fouling. His defense got a whole lot better. So has Damian Lillard. This team has a high ceiling because Lillard can keep getting better. Robin Lopez can keep getting better. LaMarcus Aldridge is already an all-star, superstar type player, a top 15 player already. And Damian Lillard getting better defensively. He's picking his spots more. He ain't settling for the jumpers no more. He's going to the paint. He's dunking. He's finishing layups. Especially last year he was doing that, being more aggressive. Even though his points numbers are down this year to 19.7, it's going to go up by the end of the year. And Damian Lillard really carried them when Nicholas Batum was injured and when Aldridge was injured. Damian Lillard really carried that team offensively. And they bench really stepped up. Dar Darrell Wright, I see you, my nigga. I see you, Chris Kamen. I see you, Steve Blake. I see you, Myers Leonard. <laughs> he was, You know, I see these people out here doing their job. And I'm impressed right now. I just don't think Portland can go past the second round. If they go against Houston, they go against Memphis. I think Memphis can beat them. I don't think they can be OKC. I don't think they can be Golden State. It's going to be tough to see how Portland, who Portland goes against in the first round. If they go against Phoenix, they can beat them in the first round. They go against a team like Phoenix or Sacramento or Pelicans, they can beat that team. But if they go against a team like OKC, Spurs, Golden State, or Clippers, I don't think they can beat them. In the they can probably beat the Clippers, but it's going to be a long series. I don't really see this team beating... Besides Houston and the Clippers, I don't think they can beat Memphis, Golden State, San Antonio, none of them in the seven-game series. So I don't really see the team going that far. It's going to be a first-round exit or a second-round exit. They ain't going to the conference finals, without a doubt. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Like the video, subscribe. If you're new to the channel, check out my older videos. Like this video, like my older videos, subscribe. Quinn Way, Queen of the Twins, signing out. Peace.